The number of Americans who have seven-figure retirement savings from their 401ks and their IRAs continues to grow, according to recent data from Fidelity Investments. Now, if a million saved might seem unattainable, get this, 378,000 investors with 401k accounts and 349,104 investors with IRAs had balances of $1 million or more in the second quarter of 2023. Wow. So the question is, right, how are they doing it despite inflation, rising interest rates, and volatility we're seeing in the markets? Well, that's what we're getting into today. Hi, and welcome back to Stop Being Sold. My name is Michelle, and I'm here with Brian. And in this video, we're breaking down exactly how ordinary investors are stashing a million dollars or more in their retirement savings and the steps needed that you can take to do it as well. Exactly. You know, we know everyone's financial situation is unique and that you can only save as much as you can save, right? Sure. Exactly. But there are some tried and true habits that these investors have in common. Specifically, there's six common denominators with millionaire 401k and IRA owners. The first one may not apply to you if you're older, and that is to start saving as early as possible. You know, if you start to save and invest in your 20s and 30s, this allows decades of compounding interest to work for your money. Absolutely. And as our mentor always says, time plus consistency equals wealth. Love that. Love that. Yes, yeah. it does. <laughs> I encourage you to play with an online calculator and maybe run a couple different scenarios. And uh -huh. you can see how powerful compounded interest over time can be. And we're going to drop a link uh, below this video to a good one that we use all the time. So. Sure. All right. So even if you're in your 20s or your 30s, you can start where you are and save aggressively, maxing out your annual contributions to your 401ks and IRAs during peak earning years is key for 2023. That means contributing $22,500 to your 401ks and $6,500 to your IRAs per year for those under the age of 50. All right. So what's the second common denominator that millionaire IRA and 401k savers have in common? This is a big one. Most of them, Michelle, invest in stocks, okay? Hmm. Millionaire retirees invest aggressively in stocks in their early and middle phases of their careers. An allocation of 80% or even 90% in equity provides that growth potential to exponentially grow balances over your time. As retirement approaches, shifting to more conservative assets may prevent that volatility and a big loss in your portfolio, especially when you're getting ready to use it, right? Right. But the bulk of your accounts um, were actually built by stocks, Michelle. Along this, the third thing that these people have in common is that they avoid early withdrawals and loans from their retirement accounts. Yeah, this is a big one. And we're seeing more and more people pull from their 401ks right now. Bank yes. of America released that data just, I mean, just recently showing the number of Americans that are withdrawing from their 401k accounts increased 36% in the second quarter of 2023 when compared to quarter two of 2022, it's a lot of people. A lot of people and it's troubling data because early withdrawals severely interrupts your account's compounded growth. Yeah. And look, I know it can be tempting to tap into retirement savings for major purchases or when times yeah. get tough, but if you can leave your savings untouched until retirement to maximize that growth, you'll have a lot more money come retirement. Absolutely. We're going to drop a link to a video that we did on early 401k withdrawals and how to avoid losing up to 50% of your savings when you do so. Yes. So make sure to check that out after you finish this video. Yeah. All right. So let's move on. What's the fourth thing investors with, with a million or more have in common? This one only applies to those with 401ks and that is they always get the employer match to get that free money. Right. Okay. You got to be sure to contribute enough to 401k plans to max out any available employer matching contributions. This instantly doubles the amount that you can save each year. That's a big one. We've talked about that so many times, Michelle. And, yep. you know, make sure you get that match. It's free money. Yeah, it is. Um, also, the next thing millionaire investors have in common is easier said than done. And Michelle, they live below their means. So much easier said than done. <laughs> you know, it's it's tough. It, it really is. Yeah. But uh, consistently saving 10 to 15% or more of income is doable on most budgets by carefully separating your needs from your wants. Sure. Foregoing them lavish luxuries or buying stuff you don't need just because it's on sale in favor of maxing out retirement contributions to build them seven-figure accounts. And it's not even about so much the, the luxuries. It can also be 
stop going out to dinner. That's one thing that we've done in our household here because we want to save more right now. It's just we're like, all right, for one month, we're like not going double. to dinner at all. Yeah. Uh, you know, dinner's out. I've literally doubled in the last year. So Absolutely. Okay. So what's the final thing that millionaire savers have in common? This is a big one. Educate yourself on retirement planning. Yeah, huge. These investors took time to gain financial and investment knowledge so they can make smart decisions to grow their nest egg. They read books, they take courses, and they actually seek professional advice to become retirement planning savvy. Yeah. You know, I'll wrap up with this. Achieving a 401k or IRA worth a million or more takes time, takes discipline, and it takes smart strategic decisions. Yeah. If you're willing to follow these steps we just covered, you're going to be on your way to financial freedom before you know it. So. Yeah. And start now. I mean, if you're watching this and you're in your forties or fifties, what you said earlier, save aggressively and start where you are. All right. If you found this content valuable, make sure you hit that like button, help us grow this channel and don't forget to subscribe. And also if you're thinking about pulling money from your 401k in the near future, do check out the video we did on how to avoid losing up to 50% of your savings. If you withdraw, So check that out right now. All right, Brian, anything else before we wrap this up? Nope. That's it. Um, it's achievable if you set your mind to it. There you go. All right. Well, thanks so much, Brian, for this. And thanks to everyone who watched. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.